Hi everyone, it's nice to see you all again. Today we're going to be reading a new nonfiction book about Arctic wolves. I hope you like it. But before we read it, I want you to think about facts that you already know about Arctic wolves. Or maybe just wolves in general. I'll be thinking too. Hmm. One fact that I know about wolves is that they have really thick coats and these coats are meant to keep them warm. Is there anything you know about wolves? Nice. Okay, let's read the book and find out some more information. Arctic Wolves of the Tundra. Tundra is a specific habitat. Arctic Wolves of the Tundra. Here's our table of contents. Page four is about at home in the tundra. Page six, staying warm. Page 10, hunting for food. Page 12, part of the pack. Page 18, wolf talk. Hmm, that one sounds interesting. Page 20, showing their feelings. Then we have the glossary, more information, and the index. Here's our heading. The heading tells us what the paragraph is going to be about. At home in the tundra. The tundra is a flat, frozen place where no trees grow. The animals that live there have adapted to life in the cold and snow. The Arctic wolf is one animal that calls the tundra home. This book has a little caption next to the photo. Let's read the caption to see what is happening in this photo. How do Arctic wolves stay alive in such a cold place? Read on to find out. Here's our next heading, staying warm. So this paragraph is going to be about how Arctic wolves stay warm. Arctic wolves often have a thick coat of white fur. This allows them to camouflage themselves in the snow. However, since some that live in areas where the snow melts in the summer have gray or black fur. I'm gonna reread that sentence because it didn't really make sense to me. However, some that live in areas where the snow melts in the summer have gray or black fur. Got it. So if the wolf is gray or black, that means they live in a place where in the summer it's not that cold. Here's our little caption. It says, Arctic wolves are a kind of gray wolf that lives in some of the coldest places on earth. Wish I could put a little sweater on them. Arctic wolves can walk on snow and ice because the fur on the bottoms of their feet keeps them warm. Oh, so apparently they have fur at the bottom of their feet to keep them warm. Who knew? Their short ears also work to help them store body heat. The fur on Arctic wolves' paws helps keep them from slipping on snow and ice. It's kind of like they're wearing shoes. Here's our next heading, hunting for food. And I can already be thinking, ooh, looks like maybe the wolf hunts Arctic hares and caribou. Arctic wolves are carnivores, which means they are meat eaters. They hunt animals such as caribou and Arctic hares. A wolf runs to catch its prey 
as soon as it is in view. The way he's kind of crouched down makes it seem like he's going to be hunting something, huh? Arctic wolves use their sense of smell to find food. I'm sure they have a good sense of smell. Here's our next heading, part of a pack. Finding food may be hard for one Arctic wolf by itself. To make it easier, the wolves hunt in a pack. This group of wolves sometimes travels hundreds of miles while hunting. A pack of wolves can work together to take down a large animal. I like looking at the photo to understand what I'm reading better. A wolf pack is generally made up of five to nine wolves. There are two leaders of the pack that are mates and are called alphas. Each year, Arctic wolf mothers give birth to two to three babies or pups. All the members of a wolf pack care for the pups. A lot of babysitters. Once Arctic wolf pups are all grown up, they often leave the pack to share for mates. I'm sorry, to search for mates. They then start their own pack with these new mates. When a male Arctic wolf and female Arctic wolf get together, they are mates for life. Wolf talk. So we know this paragraph is going to be about how wolves talk to each other. Arctic wolves have a way of talking to each other by howling. When one wolf is away from the pack, it may howl to tell the pack where it is or that it has found food. And you can see that this wolf right here is howling. Arctic wolves can howl as a group too. Yes, they're howling together. Wonder what they found. Here's our heading again. Showing their feelings. There are many ways Arctic wolves show what they are feeling. When they are angry, they show their teeth. You would not want to meet an angry Arctic wolf. You can see this Arctic wolf is very angry. Check closely for those teeth. Learning more. So these are additional facts that you might want to know about Arctic wolves. How tall is an Arctic wolf? About 30 inches at the shoulder. How long is an Arctic wolf? About six feet from nose to tail. How much does an Arctic wolf weigh? About 80 pounds. How long does an Arctic wolf live? About 10 years in the wild. What does an Arctic wolf eat? Any ideas? We learned this. Musk oxen, caribou, Arctic foxes, Arctic hares, and birds. They must be carnivores, right? Because they eat animals or meat. Here is our glossary with important words that the author thinks we really should know and their definition. Adapt, camouflage, caribou, carnivore, mates, prey, tundra. And here are some websites and books for more information, because remember when we read nonfiction, we don't just stop at one book. We wanna read more and more and more to find more information on a specific topic. 
the end. I hope you liked learning about Arctic wolves today. Think about some new facts you may have learned about wolves. I learned that when wolves are angry, they show their teeth. I hope you learned something too. I will see you all soon. Have a good day. Bye everyone.